the University of Utrecht in, in uh, Holland. Um, there were huge collections of china, of porcelain, from 16th century. So the tradition of collection of different things was normal in Europe and there were conditions to preserve all these collections. Our collection is much younger. The oldest uh, samples here originate from the second half of the 19th century and it is the beginning of uh, mineral rocks and, and gems collection in Serbia. I would like to to present you just uh, shortly the atmosphere in Serbia in that period. Namely, we were 500 years under the Turks. So no education, uh, no cultural development in Serbia uh, was important for, for Turks. Uh, at the beginning of the first half of the 19th century, Turkish, Turks finally started to leave the Balkan and Serbia got its independence and our leader, Knyaz Miloš, we can uh, see him here. He realized that it is important to speed up uh, the development of Serbia and he invited um, uh, an engineer of mining, von um, Herder, to come from Germany and to help us <coughs> to discover more ore deposits, to see what we have. So Herder arrived here with 500 samples and, uh, from, of minerals and rocks and it was the first collection systematically collected that arrived in Serbia and that Serbia has. A part of that collection was moved from time to time. At that period Kragujeva city was the capital of Serbia. So it was there, then it moved to uh, Serbian Ministry of Precious Materials, then we had the bombing uh, during First World War and uh, half of this uh, collection was destroyed. And finally when the University of Belgrade was established at the beginning of the 20th century, the, the exhibition arrived to our hands. Today we have around 250 samples with original labels everything was uh, written, locality, mineral, etc. And uh, we use them for education and for promotion of uh, the collection. After uh, von Herder, uh, the Institute Ekaterina Velika from St. Petersburg uh, gave us 1,500 samples and we are still uh, using them. You can see some rounded labels. So, uh, the whole collection is here together with catalog, with all data which are important for, for history. From, Her from uh, von Herder and this collection, Serbian people started to collect samples and from time to time they uh, exchanged their samples and we started to develop uh, geology. Geology is one of the first um, scientific discipline that uh, was established at the Belgrade University, the, the oldest university in Serbia. So the first textbook, uh, university textbook was mineralogy and geology. Uh, just to mention that that first period of independence was very important for geology because we have wonderful professors who brought Paris and Graz and Vienna to, to Belgrade, to Serbia. We have equal equipment and knowledge as well as our colleagues abroad. And there was a huge cooperation with French, German and Austrian geologists. They usually, at the beginning, they called this part of the Balkan uh, European Turkey or Turkish Europe. We were very exotic uh, area in that time because 500 years nobody come to see what we have. And uh, that was very important because our professors cooperate a lot and there was a huge exchanges of knowledge. Uh, we made a solid base in that time. After that, you know that historically many winds 
bloat here, so it is another story. What is uh, our collection today? It has more than 5,000 examples, including um, radioactive minerals, which are far away from people in subterrain, uh, where nobody lives, except rats, <laughs> maybe. <laughs> uh, the exhibition is organized to follow scientific classification of minerals, but also we have some specific collections which uh, are important uh, for us, uh, according to science, um, beauty, uh, rarity, etc. I'm not a curator here, it's a pity that Alena is not here, uh, but uh, she tried to mark the most important uh, or interesting samples. That work is in progress. I would like to emphasize our collection from the Trepcha mine here. It is lead zinc deposit uh, on Kosovo, very unique according to mineral assemblages. Then we have um, samples from eastern Serbia from our copper mines. That copper uh, feeds uh, Serbia almost 100 years. And what is maybe interesting for you, it is uh, the appearance of new mineral yadarit. Probably you heard that yadarit is, an, uh, is the only min is mineral that was found only in Serbia, and its chemical formula looks like kryptonite, <laughs> by chance. So it was very interesting to, to journalists, and they made a lot of advertisements thanks to, to, to this... Uh, Australian company, yes. Viva Tinto, I think. Yes, uh, it's they do it. You can, you can see here yeah, the, yeah. the ugliest mineral, but very precious at the moment. It can be found only in, in drill holes. No, uh, no appearances uh, on the ground. It's, because oh, on, it's hmm? precious because of the lithium ion batteries yes, and the industry yes. about the batteries. Yes. And what could be interesting for you? We have very uh, nice beryl here from Serbia. This one, this one from Cer. Uh, it was one of the largest uh, in, found in in southeastern South Europe. Uh, maybe David knows better if it is. Yes, southeastern Europe. Yeah. Yes. And we can find. I would like to to highlight two more collections given by David and by Branko, so they are at their home today here. Uh, David and his family started to collect Serbian collection, and it is here, a part of that is here. And uh, we have a collection of, of gems that was given by Branko and Dusan Sinic. I will not talk about rocks next time. <laughs> but these rocks host these precious minerals.